Like we did in single object tracking, we're going to denote the measurements by capital Z with the subindex K for the time, and the number of measurements will be noted by M with the subindex K. The measurements consist of both clutter and object detections. And the clutter we denote like before by capital C and the object detections by capital O. And similarly to single object tracking, the measurements are a random permutation of the columns in the two matrices O and C. Like before, the clutter is Poisson. It has some intensity, lambda C, which we can also describe as the product of a Poisson rate, lambda bar, and a spatial density, F. The object detections consist of object detections from the n objects, so O1 all the way to On. For each object i, the measurements OI are modeled by the same measurement model that we used in single object tracking. With probability 1 minus PD, we get no measurement, so a missed detection. And with probability PD, we get a single detection that is modeled by a likelihood GK. So what we need and what we're going to do in this section is to see what an, the n object measurement likelihood P of Z given X is. And this likelihood includes the clutter, it includes the detections, and it also includes the misdetections from all of the objects. In single object tracking, we saw that we could describe the measurement likelihood P of Z given X as a sum over data associations. And the same thing is true also for tracking N objects. We have a sum over the joint density of the measurements Z and the data association theta given the object states X. And we can further describe this as a product of two densities, the measurements given the object states, the association theta, and the number of measurements multiplied by the density over the data association theta and the number of measurements m given the object states. To derive this measurement likelihood for n objects, we need to define the data association variable theta for n objects. And we also need to have a look at what the set of valid associations, capital theta, is. For the joint likelihood of the measurements and the data association, given the object states, we need the association condition measurement model, and we also need the association prior. So that's what we're going to learn about in this section.